Hello again. So I've been playing uh, um, with various emulators, um, you know, old school console emulators on my Raspberry Pi just lately. And um, the one I'm enjoying the most is the um, Stellar, which is the um, emulator for the Atari 2600. It runs absolutely fantastic on the Pi. Um, one of my favourite consoles as well. I find that um, if you run it outside of um, a desktop environment, so X or, or whatever you're using, um, it runs a little bit faster. So I've got got my Pi set up here. Um, installation is a breeze. It's just sort of a app get install um, Stellar or sudo or whatever. Um, so I'll I'll launch the emulator here. You get a lovely little menu. If you've used Stellar before, you're probably used to this. Um, just sort of launch the game from the menu. There's various options for setting it up. I've got a few bits and pieces here. Um, and uh, yeah, runs really well. I'll just shut that down for a second. But what I'd, um, what I'd really like to play with, you know, with this emulator, is to be able to use, um, you know, a proper classic 2600 joystick, you know, one of these. Um, now you can't get these, you know, this is an original joystick so it's got the 9 pin sort of socket so there's no way, you know, you're going to be able to plug that into your Pi directly, you know, this this kind of socket if you remember. Now you can get um, USB versions of these joysticks or in fact you can get the Stellar adapter as well that, that will you know, convert one of these joysticks to USP. It should work with the Pi. I don't know. I mean, what would be great would be to get um, some of the paddles to work. Um, and I think the Stellar adapter does sort of support these. Again, I'm not sure if it's going to work with the Pi, but I would have thought so. But I don't have any of those. Uh, but what I do have, if you remember, is that um, Kira interface that I've got on my um, C64 PC conversion thing. So I've took that out again. <laughs> Keep taking it out, but hey, and here it is. So we've got the uh, classic joystick plugged in there, and USB runs all the way down to my Pi. So um, I'm not actually I've not actually got this plugged into a, a powered USB hub. So I'm hoping there's enough juice in the uh, the mains. Uh, socket to actually power this key. If not, I'll have to um, install a hub or something. But because the um, because the Pi's only got yet two USB ports, one is taken up, of course, by the key and the other for the keyboard. So I've not got a mouse in at the minute. But that doesn't matter because I can I can run Stellar from um, from the keyboard anyway. So we'll launch the um, emulator again, and I've prepared a couple of. Uh, Atari games, so I've got uh, I've got a couple out here. Uh, was he? So um, what I'll do? That's my favourite, by the way, that and Berserk. So I'll load that on the phone. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's start this emulator. So what I've done, I've already uh, pre-configured this. I've gone into the options, and I've mapped the inputs from the joystick. To the various uh, controls and it did work so let's see let's just exit this for a second oh, let's launch a game got a couple loaded here um, Berserk the uh, the voice enhanced one that's a homebrew release that was absolutely fantastic to, to hear voice coming from the Atari 2600 even if it's emulated as uh, you know, pretty impressive. So we'll run that anyway. Okay. So, here's the joystick. Is it actually going to work? So, yeah. So, up, down, right, left, and fire. So yeah, as, um, the key has got um, quite a few uses actually. I mean, it's a bit expensive to sort of, you know, just to buy one, just to use it as a converter for 
you know, old school joysticks like this. I mean, there's plenty of other adapters out there, but, you know, I've got this thing anyway, and, uh, you know, when I'm not using it on the uh, C64 PC, it comes in handy. But, yeah, it's <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. And um, I was having a look around the, uh, the internet, and I thought, I've had an idea. So, uh, Sorry, I got sidetracked for a second. Yeah, I've had an idea. So I was on the, uh, on the internet, as you do, and um, I came across this. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Which is um, a cut and fold and make um, a little model of uh, an Atari 2600 uh, console out of paper. So I thought, now that's cool. So I've got to try that. So, um, so yeah, so armed with, you know, sort of this kind of stuff and, and this and my wife's scissors, she doesn't like me to touch these, but so, um, we'll keep that one quiet and actually found these to be, uh, a good help as well. So after all of that, I only cut myself twice, so, uh, quite a lot of swearing. Um, I finally made up this, um, this paper model and this is what I, uh, this is what I ended up with. So yeah, there's my paper model. It looks pretty realistic, doesn't it? I mean, we've got got all the uh, the switches working. And um, okay, that's not going to fool you, is it? <laughs> okay. So this is actually the uh, the paper model. So there we go. Well, that little uh, little Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It's even got. I don't know if you can see it. It's even got the um, so you've got the ports as well. I think actually it's, a, it's, it's supposed to be a business card holder. Uh, you're supposed to cut that out, but I sort of left it. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's up against uh, a, con a cartridge, though, it's, you can get an idea. Of, whoop, you can get an idea of the sort of the size. I don't think that's going to work somehow, though, is it? So yeah, so I thought that's actually. Um, Raspberry Pi shape, isn't it? So I thought, hmm, if I cut some holes in, I can actually fit my Pi in there. I thought, now that's going to be a pretty cool case to run my uh, my Pi and its uh, 2600 emulator. I mean, what would be great if there's any um, 3D printer is that how you would pronounce that? 3D printer is out there that could actually make this um, could you actually send me one <laughs> I would love one of these if that was actually made into a proper Raspberry Pi case I mean if you have a look around the net there's actually uh, quite a few others cases as well well not cases but models that you can sort of print and um, download and make you know classic computers and, and consoles I even came across um, a Commodore SX64 uh, which was, uh, I think it's made into a model that's about half the size of that, so that should be quite a challenge. But anyway, yeah, so I've got that. Um, actually, not this one, I've made up another one. I've cut some holes, so we're going to uh, put the pie in this and um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, there we go. I've got the, uh, move that out of the way a second, I've got the pie inserted in here, I've got the USB ports here, the network hours in here it's coming all a little bit unstuck here and uh, I've been opening this flap to get it in and out and everything and uh, it's starting to show wear on the corners here so uh, again maybe if this was made into a proper case uh, a proper hard case now this would be absolutely fantastic so okay so I've got the uh, I've got the uh, Atari prepped and I've got my Kiva there with the joystick prepped and there's my joystick and I've got my pie on so let me just uh, set this down again. Okay, so actually I'll just put that up there. Okay, so start the emulator again. Stellar. Off we go. So what we're going to try this time. Uh, yeah, well, Barnstorming, that's a pretty cool game. And 
let's reset this thing. So, press the fire button, it should work now. Yay! Oh, straight into the pylon. So yeah, there's my, uh, I'll just come out of this for a second. So yeah, there's my uh, my little uh, Atari 2600 case. Uh, this thing needs a name, um, and I'm thinking, I don't know, it's a it's Atari 2600. It's uh, Woody uh, Raspberry Pi Atari. <laughs> yeah. How about the um, Atari 2600? Kind of like that. So yeah, Atari 2600.